What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been absent for a little bit because I have business to take care of. But today I'm back with another unboxing and this time I know you guys have been bugging me to do more One Piece statues. Uh, why don't you just buy more One Piece? Uh, One Piece is a great anime uh, blah blah blah. Yes I know and I'm sorry about that. The reason is that the One Piece line I'm trying to complete are all huge statues like this tall like if you guys remember Luffy um, the one that got like over 2 million views uh, that I unboxed probably like almost 2 years ago that one is this tall like way way bigger than you know my normal typical Naruto or any other statues in my collection so I also unboxed Ace, uh, Zoro all, all of them are big big statues and uh, I still have more to come so today I'm going to be unboxing Sanji made by LB Studio same company like Luffy, Zoro, Ace that I unboxed before but yeah like I say the reason I don't collect more One Piece um, is because I'm focusing all my financial stuff into these you know to complete this line of big One Piece statues where Naruto I can buy like you know because it's, Naruto is my favorite anime so I can buy like 1 6, 1 8 one fourth even but anyways enough of me chit chatting let's get to the boxes this statue came with two boxes like Luffy last time so very very big statue and heavy too I think you guys could see Ace over there you know such a huge statue once again and uh, this time it's Sanji so I'm just gonna take one box this is the first box look at how big this is Wow, holy hell, um, I'm just gonna stand up and explain some stuff, as you can see in the front we have Sanji artwork, you know he's really angry, um, I think this scene is from where the whole Cape Island arc, um, when he was fighting against the Jerma 66 members and everything, Vince Mo Sanji, you can see right here, and yeah it's made by LB studio in the front I mean at the top but other than that it's just you know one whole black box with same artwork and this is just one box I think I'm gonna break ace over there but yeah one box right here and then we have another box of the same stuff <laughs> so this box is a little bit skinnier like me so yeah um, same artwork, same everything as you can see. So now let's get to the unboxing. So first here we have the base. As you can see this base is huge. Um, at the bottom probably say Sanji or the edition number I don't know if you guys can see that but I can't because this is very heavy um, the base has this wiry effect with you know the uh, the rocks pointing up everywhere this experiment case tube thing you know very beautiful work that they did on this base alone um, I think the water if they made it clear like translucent resin I think it would be better but you know despite that I think the water looks just great and here are two metal poles like real metal it's not resin or anything so I think they use this to support this big piece of flame coming up next so yeah real metal pieces and it goes like this and this one goes right here and now I'm gonna bring out the biggest piece of flame in this statue collecting hobby because I've never seen anything like this big before like especially the flame part it's even bigger than this ace flame right here so I'm gonna show you guys and it's very heavy too Whew. I'm gonna break my back oh my goodness check out this flame it's like the half the size of a truck wheel if you guys know what I mean but yeah um, very very big Whew. and super heavy how the hell am I gonna place this 
onto the base here. I'm gonna be extremely careful because this does not look safe. Look at this. It's holding by this long ass pole right here. And there's like a little peg that I can push in like that. Oh my God. Okay. I think that's good enough. And that's another support pole right here. I can put to the base to support the flame. And let me show you guys the back. This does not look safe, I tell you. Well, yeah, you yeah, can see it's holding by this long pole right here and this extra piece. And now I'm gonna put on some extra pieces of flame onto this big one. one looks like this. There we go. So most of these extra piece of flame um, goes behind this huge one. Oh my God, look at how it wiggle. Oh my God, I would never go near this statue. Man. So next we have some tubes with wires everywhere. Here's another one right here. So the paint job is really cool. You guys can see some weathering on here, some damages. Um, but yeah, clean metal look for the tubes. There we go. Two more part that goes into the base. Yeah, like this. And we have some water tubes and poles to make it more realistic for this base. Connect like this. It's magnetized by the way. There we go. Some more little wires. I think that's good enough. And this next part is like my favorite part about this statue, Sanji's body. You can see he's doing kind of like a ballet move that we all saw on TV and everything. <laughs> like these girls wearing skirt and jump in the middle of a move. So very gracefully, very cool looking. Um, the clothing doesn't have any textures on this one like the pants but you know i think the color is good there are some shading areas so very cool looking and no he does not stand like this on the statue actually he stands like he's doing like a freaking break dance move and the legs goes onto the flame like this next we have his cape superman cape and next we have his face face is correct just like in the anime in my opinion he's angry at his uh, family so you can see got a little beard right here like me <laughs> but yeah face is correct he has some battle damages onto his forehead right here so overall very cool and awesome looking face and it goes in like that here's an extra arm and there we go to give you guys some quick look at the base you can see here is the water effect you know like I say I wish this water would be clear so you know we can see more of a pop out color from this base but you know overall I think this water is also fit for this statue because clear resin are very expensive to make and they are heavy too so I understand why they would make it you know just the regular color water and we have rocks fire flying up in the air right here and we have this awesome looking test tube uh, case thingy you know some crack right here very natural you can see the German 66 logo right here and pipes sticking up everywhere 
and you know another tube with water spilling out broken from this part right here and red wires and up at the top we have Sanchi doing breakdance move kicking fire everywhere you can see this whole huge piece of flame coming out from his leg right there so awesome looking and super dynamic pose so yeah those are the close up look for Sanchi I think this has to be easily the most scary statue I've ever unboxed on this channel well the main thing is because you can see this statue is kind of wiggle right here I don't know if it's safe I don't want to go near it ever but you know this whole piece of heavy flame right here got support by you know two uh, steel metal rod behind even that is still wiggle you can see beside that if I don't care about you know any damages that I might have caused for this statue in the future this is such an amazing scene and awesome looking statue because I've never seen anything like it in my collection. Normally I see you know statues has some semi-dynamic pose with characters jumping in the air or you know doing like a kicking or a punching move. We consider that a dynamic statue, but this one is like over the top. Like every single piece from the water effect, the flame, the pipes. The pose Sanchi is doing like a freaking break dance move, spinning around, kicking this whole big ass piece of flame. And you know, I have to say, with this big piece of flame right here, it adds so much onto the statue. Um, because we all know Sanchi likes to kick fire. So without fire, you know, it would not be Sanchi's technique. But, anyways, like I say, I wish the water would be clear. Other than that, I think everything else is perfect beside the safety, uh, you know, cautious thing on here. The water case, the water tube right here has some detail on it, cracks everywhere. We have some pipes with wire pointing upward because we know Sanchi is like kind of destroy the whole um, environment of the German 66. Another thing that I'm sad about is LB Studio did not include like a little certificate of authenticity telling me what number I got so I can display next to the statue. They didn't do it on Zoro, Ace or Luffy either but you know I wish that they would have done something to show um, to put next to this amazing piece of art that they did. So once again the reason that I don't buy much One Piece statue is because you can see right here like this big ass statue cost me close to $900 shipping included and it came with two huge boxes you can see before but yeah um, $900 for this huge statue I think it's worth it I'm gonna display like the whole One Piece lineup it's gonna be amazing the reason that I love LB Studio so much is because their characters are 1 for scale already big enough and then they top it off with this amazing looking base dynamic scene very cool and awesome pose so once again I'm gonna collect the whole line for the LB studio for one piece and I cannot wait for their white beer I think it's about like this big the size the length that one is gonna be massive but yeah thank you everybody for watching me unboxing this Sanchi Vinsmo made by LB studio if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up you know it really helped me pump out more content for you guys and subscribe below for more unboxing and more review click the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on my next video and now i'm gonna give you guys some more close-up look on this beast and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out everybody goodbye